In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a weather card in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added three weather cards with different uh, forecast conditions. Here, the first one, it is kind of a raining and I've, you can use the city name and the country name and then you can add the temperature and at the day bottom, you can add the date. So the second one, it is more like a, a sun here. Again, you can add the city and the country and here it's uh, with raining with thunderstorms. And if you are not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle. Draw a rounded corner rectangle depending on the requirement. How many cards you want? Three, four so you can uh, change the size depending on that and then you can see the small orange point just drag this outside to make it less curved shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to fill this with some kind of a indigo color which looks something like this and if you like to give some shadow effect you can press ctrl d to duplicate and give some dark color here and remove the trans i mean increase the transparency and then send this to back all right you can see here you can just give a kind of a small shadow effect which looks something like this all right and then i'm going to add a cloud or design a cloud for that go to insert shapes from the rectangles again i'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle and the small orange point drag this inside then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape draw one oval shape like this here you can see and then press ctrl d to duplicate and reduce the size and add it one here all right the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to select these shapes all these three shapes go to the shape format merge shapes and make a union so it looks like a cloud all right you can just reduce the size and you can just put it here and then you can fill this one with some gradient fill color so let me just select the gradient fill color and here i'm going to choose three colors uh, and by default i have used this color that's the reason it's coming and transparency i have make it uh, somewhat transparent so i'm going to remove the transparency and it looks something like this you can see here but it's up to you you can just change any color depending on the requirement all right then i'm going to add kind of a rain drops or the water drops go to insert shapes uh, from the basic shape select the oval shape click it here and the height and width i'm going to make it maybe 0 0.15 let's see if it is very big we can reduce it 0. 1 5 all right so it looks something like this and then again this also i'm going to select the gradient fill and shape outline i'm going to make it no outline all right and again maybe it's, it's uh, 0 0.15 is big i'm just going to make it 0 0.1 only all right so select this one press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here and then i'm just going to take one by one and i'm going to arrange it like this a kind of a the water comes from the cloud that effect i would like to give here so you can just you can just put random here and there also it doesn't matter that you have to put in a sequence all right so you can see here i'm just going to add few more one more here yeah so you can see here now i've added this uh, shape also so i'm going to select this one and press ctrl g to group it all right you can see here or you can just group only this this only ctrl g this we can keep it separate all right so once this is done the next thing which i would like to do is i would like to add the uh, the temperature and the city name okay for example i'm just going to add a city name say uh, new york I'll just say USA and you can just give any light color here okay any light color you can give and I'm going to choose the font open sans 
again it up to you which font you like to choose all right let's put it here if you want you can increase the size not a problem then go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw a small rectangle here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some light color here all right this comes here and then you can insert the temperature i will say that this is uh, say 21 degrees all right you can give the same color or different color open sans i'm going to choose extra bold center align and increase the size you can see here all right and if you want to add uh, a kind of a degree celsius also for that you need to go to insert and you need to add a symbol to do that one you can just add one small text box go to the insert you can go to the symbols from the webdings you can just choose any of this you can see here if you drag it down you can see all these things here okay whatever the same thing if i'm going to choose maybe uh, this one click on insert and close it was in it is inserted but i don't see that one so i have to just change the color you can see here again if you want you can increase the size also and you can just put it here at the top okay and then if you want to add centigrade or fahrenheit you can just add that one right so once this is done i'm going to select all of these hold the control shift key and then add it here and one more add it here now here it's not raining for example i'm just going to choose this thing let me just select this one i will delete this part and here example say if i'm talking about the city which i live here Riyadh, uh, Saudi Arabia and maybe the current temperature here is almost like 46 degrees and go to insert icons here I'm going to type for example just sun alright and then I can just add this sun click insert if you want increase the size of the sun and put it here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill maybe you can use some yellow color and you can change the cloud color to some other color depending on the requirement maybe i can just give a kind of a pink or different color combination you can just think of okay any color which you feel which is okay so like this one with the sun and the temperature and then here maybe it's lightning so i can just go to the the insert again icons i can just type for example let's me just see thunder yeah and then i'm just going to choose this one click on insert bring it here it's raining with thunder so you can just give any color you like all right something like this and then you can just change to any city name okay and the country and you can just put the, the temperature here whichever the temperature there all right and this is the way you can make the weather cards and if you want to give some more a kind of a background effect for that you can go to insert shapes i'm going to choose a oval shape draw a oval shape and this one i'm going to select this go to the home i'm going to select the format painter and click it here i got this gradient fill then go to the effects and under soft edges increase the soft edges and then you can just place this somewhere behind send to back you can see here some effect you can just add it like that and if you would like to add some uh, kind of animation also you can do that